हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्टेट स्पेस एनालिसिस टू एनालाइज अ कंट्रोल सिस्टम देयर आर टू मेथड्स फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रांसफर फंक्शन मेथड एंड सेकंड वन इज स्टेट स्पेस मेथड इन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन मेथड एंड इनपुट इज गिवन टू ए सिस्टम विद सम ट्रांसफर फंक्शन and depending upon the transfer function of the system we will get the output which means the output is linear with respect to the input in a state space method we have multiple input which is given to a system depending upon the state variable of the system it will provide the output so if you observe here in transfer function method we are having only one input and one output but in state space method there are multiple input to a system and we will be having the multiple output until now we have seen the transfer function method which was applicable only for lta system and this method is applicable for single input single output system this method was providing the status of input and output only which means we were unable to understand the internal state of the system and also this method does not provide zero state response the state space method is applicable for non linear and time variant system so it can be applicable for non linear and time variant system it can have multiple input multiple output so this system can take multiple input and can provide multiple output it provides the internal state of the system along with the status of input and output so internal status of the system can also be understood along with the status of input as well as output it provides zero state response so this is one of the major advantage where it will provide a zero state response of the system if we consider state space analysis any system in state space can be represented by two equations first one is a state equation and second one is output equation generally a state equation can be represented as x dot of t will be equal to a x of t plus b u of t and the output equation can be represented as y of t that can be given as c x of t plus d u of t here x dot of t is known as a state model or state derivative this state derivative represents the rate of change of the state vector over the time it indicates how states of the system evolves a is the system matrix this system matrix describes the relation between the present state of the system and its rate of change x of t represents state vector state vector is a vector that represents the state of system at time t this state typically includes variable necessary to describe the system's present condition b is the input matrix the input matrix defines how input vector affects the state of the system u of t is the input vector the input vector represents the external input or controls that are applied to the system generally the state equation can be written as x dot 1 of t x dot 2 of t x dot 3 of t and so on that will be equal to matrix a that is multiplied with x1 of t x2 of t x3 of t plus matrix b 
multiplied with matrix of u of t so here this matrix represents state derivative then a system matrix then the state vector then the input matrix and the input vector so this is the general representation of output equation here y of t is the output vector c represents the output matrix this output matrix represents the relation between the state vector and the output vector x of t is the state vector d is the transition matrix this transition matrix describes the relation between input vector and output vector and u of t is the input vector we can write output equation as y1 of t y2 of t y3 of t and so on that will be equal to matrix c multiplied with x1 of t x2 of t x3 of t plus matrix d multiplied with u of t so here this represents the output vector this is the output matrix this is the state variable this is transition matrix and this is the input vector generally the state equation describes how the state of the system evolve over time in response to the external input and output equation describes how the output of the system are generated from internal state and the external inputs this is about introduction to state space analysis hope you have understood the topic thank you